Hello guys, this is Zar. Welcome to a quick tutorial on how to get started in Castle Story. I was originally going to do a first impression video as I usually do with new games. However, due to <laughs> several recordings where I sort of just got stuck in the controls and how to do things, I figured why not just do a quick tutorial on how to do that first? Because um, I presume a lot of people are in the same situation as I was at the moment. Keep in mind this is the prototype of the game, it's pre-alpha, nothing in here is probably going to stay the same way as it is now. The game has been out for about an hour when I record this, so I'm by no means an expert, but I think some of these things will be useful to you anyways. So, have a look. Right, I realize of course that this is a, <laughs> a bit of a surprise to some of you guys on my channel and other people that might watch it. No introduction to what the game is why I'm playing it and so on and so forth. Rest assured though I will be doing a proper let's play style series of this later or actually rather quickly. Uh, this is just to get started for everyone that just received access to the game. So the controls are <laughs> far from intuitive. Of course this could be a uh, something that changes over time. Again it's in a pre-alpha state now but the whole drag and move thing should be fairly obvious to, th to everyone select groups with left left dragging left mouse click dragging and right click to move in the same thing uh, with multi or one or more you can select one or you can select multiple by dragging the camera is a bit tricky uh, primarily get used to using space so to say space is your friend in this game uh, you can scroll up and down like this with the mouse wheel. That is basically just to move the camera. So think like a 3D application where you actually move the camera. If you hold space, you're zooming the camera in and out. If you're not moving the camera, you're zooming it. Space plus the WASD keys will move the camera on this axis. Space plus left click will give you the ability to move like this. You have this little indicator here that you're moving around. Space and right click will let you rotate. So, with that said, that should save you about 10 minutes of frustration in the beginning of the game. Let's move on. Alright, the next part is building things and in so doing actually gathering materials to build things. And they work sort of the same way. Down in the bottom left corner here you have different types of jobs that you can put them to do. The Bricktrons, that's the name of these guys. Uh, you can build, uh, you can lumber down things, logging, and mine. All of these give you different options over on the right side here. With the mining I can, for example, create a mine or I can create a tunnel. Uh, what you need to do here though is because uh, in order to gather materials at all, you need somewhere to stockpile it. And in order to stockpile it, you need sort of like a little wooden board to put it on. So the first thing you need to do is to log down some trees, or chop down some trees. Now this can be quite confusing actually, this simple task. Of course, an easy way to do it is, if I choose one of them, and I go here, and choose one of them, <laughs> right click on a tree, and it will actually go do it. So that way it's it's quite simple. Another thing I can do is I can create a job. If I go in here I click on Lumber Zone um, and I can drag over say this zone here. Or I should be able to do that anyway. And there we go. Yeah, you should be able to do that. You can't really at the moment. At least I haven't figured out uh, but you can choose like a, one point, put it there, and then that creates a new job down here. You can see whenever you create so sort of like a, a task, pops up down here as a new job. Um, and these are also a little bit messed up at the moment. But what you can do if you accidentally create a job that you didn't actually want to do, and so on and so forth, uh, you select that job down here, go up here in the list, click on X, confirm it, and it's gone. Now, in order for me to assign anyone to this job is I can click one or, say, two of my uh, 
brick trons. Right click down here. They will now be on that job. Or kick lumber around. <laughs> the reason they do that is because they don't have anywhere to put it. Uh, so what we now need to do is to do, go into build mode. Uh, select stockpile. And create. There we go. A couple of spaces where they can stockpile things. Just a bit closer so we can see. Um, this creates another problem, uh, which is, first of all, you can accidentally create way too many of these, uh, which can be annoying. Again, you can just remove that task if you do, the same way as before. Um, one thing you can do as well is to hold shift when you're over here, and that way you remove things. That worked for the blueprints only. So that is one very useful thing that I recently learned as well. Remove them like this. Now, we want to build a stockpile. I would recommend that you don't build the stockpiles 2 and 2, because the Bricktrons, at least in the current state of the game, can get stuck in between them. The other slightly annoying problem with when you're in build mode like this is that <laughs> it's sort of hard to get out of, except you can do this. You can right-click on the ground and choose this one here. And now I don't build things with everything I do anymore. And I can choose that job, and it's here. Same thing as before. I choose one guy in this case. There we go. Right click him here on that job. And he picks up the nearby lumber. Starts building it. Now there's more lumber. He starts building more of them. Until we have those three pads that we wanted. I've gathered a couple of more logs here. And we can... Uh, I've assigned the last guy, the one that was building uh, uh, the pads here for us into the wood or the logging group. So let's just make all of these three, cut down a few more trees. You too, mister. There we go. Have to manual assign them a bit since this isn't working too well. Now since they're in that group, once these fall down they start carrying them away. As you can see. Now take them down here to our storage area. It seems that we would need a little bit more storage space though. Let's make this guy build us a little bit more space. Go into build mode, give him a job, to create these. Okay, not optimal placement, but regardless, hills and whatnot. <laughs> Alright. Well, that should do. They shouldn't get stuck there. Okay, that seems... This is better. Let's uh, let's use these here. And remove these. With the shift and left click trick that we learned before. Now... Deselect. We're right clicking, going in a circle, choosing the... Uh, to deselect there. And assign these two to the group that builds them. Now have space. Success. Alright, so the next thing we want to do, of course, is to actually build something. Uh, like a house. And in order to do that, we need something to construct it out of. Generally, um, you can build things out of lumber, like planks and so on. But for the structural things you need bricks, and bricks you get from mining, and so we're going to be mining. Down here is the mining tool. You can choose either to mine or to create a tunnel. We're going to focus on mining this time. Uh, we click it, and we drag an area here. We drag this area here, so we can have a look into the ground, maybe a little bigger. We now have an area. They will automatically create stairs inside this area, as you can see here, and oh, and you can drag it up and down depending on how deep you want it. I don't want it super deep, so I'm going to go like this. It's done. Now all we need to do is assign a bunch of people to that job, and select them, and right-click them into the mining group. And here we go. You can also just click them up here on this icon here. Let's watch them, watch them at work.
they have been digging for a little while here now and you can see they are working down the path that we directed them to go. They're also making some stairs here so that in case you are digging just a hole down into the ground they can actually get up. It doesn't seem to make a whole lot of a difference actually as for the material you get, whether it's like dirt or stone that you dig, I'm not sure if that's going to be changed. Anyway, as you can see they walk over here and deliver it. Uh, as for bricks, it's not like one log is one log on the storage here, but rather, or a stockpile I mean, rather they fill it up in these boxes here until they have enough and it becomes bricks. So now we have some bricks and we can start building. The building is, we've actually looked a little bit into it with uh, with these, uh, uh, with the stockpiles here, uh, it's not much different. Uh, you create a new building job, choose for in this case a brick, and you get these ghost plans or blueprints here where you want to build. Uh, so let's say I want to build something super simple here, just like a wall. You can see if I want the wall this way, this goes the wrong way, you can right click to change the direction of it. And I can place more and more bricks over here, and the one I have assigned to this job, which is this guy, will start to put those bricks down. Now if I also want to do, I could, for instance, put some stairs on it, if I wanted to. Turn it around, like this. Maybe I would want to go even higher. I have to construct it like this. And we can put a few more guys on this task in order to speed it up. Like this guy for instance, we can put him over in the building group. Which he's not really that keen on doing at the moment. Go over here guy. Oh well, still a little bit difficult. Anyways, so that is how you can build things. And from here on out, um, it's all about creativity, building huge gigantic castles to protect yourself from evil invaders in the night time and so on and so forth. This has been Sar giving you a very noobish, very early tutorial on the game. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was a little bit useful to new players and maybe interested uh, or people that are interested in getting in the game. I will be doing more videos on this. I'm just about to start exploring it myself. I just wanted to share this. So thanks for watching guys. Have a nice one. Bye bye.